Hello there, Cancer. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Um, we have your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of April 25th through May the 1st. On Monday, what you have coming up is you have the Two of Coins in reverse. Two of Coins in reverse is manifesting in different ways for different ones of you. For some of you, this is actually a financial uh, manifestation. It is a coins card, so not so surprising that it might be a financial manifestation. Uh, but for some of you, what this is, is things are out of balance. You're starting to realize that you have more going out than coming in as far as finances. And this is a day where um, I think where it's kind of a, a reckoning, a day of reckoning where you have to figure out, okay, where do I have to rob Peter to pay Paul or what has to be cut for me to be able to make ends meet? This is kind of a day of really um, looking at some of those hard questions and figuring out that answer for some of you. Now, for others of you, this is um, still a day of, of um, well, you can look at it as not enough or you can look at it as too much, but you've got a lot on your plate. So you've got a lot that you want to accomplish on Monday. You have a lot that needs to be taken care of. This is a really great day to delegate any responsibilities that you can delegate to somebody else who's capable. Uh, because otherwise, when this card comes in a reverse, it really talks about things falling through the cracks. And so to keep things from falling through the cracks, you kind of want to have a backup plan or other people that can help you with making sure everything gets taken care of. Let's move on to Tuesday. This is a much less stressful day. We have the Empress showing up. And the Empress is just telling us that on Tuesday, things start to come easy to you. Things that you um, have been wanting a while may be starting to show up. Um, this is also a very creative time, a very productive time. So you're getting a lot of stuff done. Um, this is um, a good time if you are wanting to have a baby. This would be a good time to have a baby. Um, if you're not wanting to, this would be a really good time to use lots of protection. <laughs> um, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, the other thing that I was going to say, this is a great time for um, new collaborations uh, with other people and even for creating new things that are just your own. Either way, it's a really great time. This is a time when uh, when everybody sees you as appealing or having the appealing ideas. So, um, really a nice a nice time for you to get anything done that you would like to get done, or anything drawn to you that's good that you would like to draw to you on Tuesday. Now, on Wednesday, you have the Ten of Coins showing up in reverse. Ten of Coins in reverse. What is this for you guys? For Cancers, Ten of Coins in reverse. I just keep hearing money falling out of your pockets. So for some of you, this is actually splurging, splurge money. For some of you, this is um, money that you have to spend, but money just falling out of your pockets. That's what I want to hear. That's what I'm, that, I mean, that's not what I want to hear. That is what I'm hearing. So to me, this would be some kind of unexpected expense, unexpected invoice, something that comes up where money is just really quickly on Wednesday. Okay, so let's move on to Thursday. Thursday, we have the High Priestess. Now this is another, <laughs> I can't believe you guys got the Empress and then you got the High, Priest, High Priestess. These are the two most powerful female energy cards in the deck. Um, the High Priestess just tells me that on Thursday, it's a really good time for you to be paying attention to your intuition. If you're going along and planning, maybe you're doing something that you've been planning to do for months and months, and you're going along and all of a sudden you get this bad feeling in your stomach that, oh, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. I can't put my finger on why. Shut down the presses, man. <laughs> don't move forward with that. Especially Thursday. Thursday's a really good time to follow your intuition. This is like Sacred Spirit saying, heads up. We know you only listen to your intuition about half the time. This is just a little warning, neon sign. Listen to it on Thursday. <laughs> and I'm kind of laughing because I've been in that situation and I didn't listen. Uh, 
a long, long time ago when I was married, the first time me and my first husband bought a semi and he drove over the road and um, I was a part of the decision making process on this, a part owner of the vehicle and um, we had been planning this for two or three months. We had picked out which vehicle we were buying. We were actually buying it from the company that he drove from and we knew the driver. But we hadn't been able to run into the driver to talk to him about the truck. But we knew that he was, you know, he took care of his vehicles and stuff. So we felt pretty confident about buying this vehicle. The day comes to actually put all the ink on all the paper and we meet the person who was there to actually have the sale go through, which was not from our company. It was going through some kind of dealership some way. I don't remember exactly how. And as soon as I saw that guy, I just had the most terrible feeling in the pit of my stomach. And we had already signed some of the paperwork with the company to run this truck. And so we were really halfway into the process of of owning this truck and running this truck at that point by the time I met this person. But I just had this really strong bad feeling. And we had gone so far, I felt like we had gone too far to back out and I kept going. Well, what happened was we bought the truck. The truck chewed through water pumps, I think it was. So every week we were in a Freightliner shop getting a water pump replaced to the tune of five to eight hundred dollars. I can't remember what it was anymore. And of course we were down usually for half a day, not able to drive, not able to earn money while we're spending all this money at a Freightliner shop every single week consistently. <laughs> Water pumps are not supposed to go out every week for those of you who don't know about trucks. Um, so anyway, the moral of the story here is listen to your intuition. If you're getting that warning that just says, uh oh, and you've got basically red lights flashing then stop, shut down the presses, don't go forward, do what I wished I would have done that day, which was back out of buying that truck. <laughs> Same thing, so that's, that's the moral of that story. It can have big consequences if you don't pay attention to your intuition and you don't want um, those kinds of consequences. So pay attention to your intuition on Thursday, that's what that card says. All right, Friday, Four of Cups. Four of Cups just means Friday you're feeling like having a pity party. You guys are kind of having a rough week, honestly, with the two of the two of the coins cards that came up in the pity party now. I mean, you've got two very powerful females. Those are offsetting the coins cards, but you've definitely got a roller coaster week going on here. Anyway, let's move on to Friday. Friday, Four of Cups. This is my pity party card. So um, this is going to be a day when it's going to feel like you're just completely righteous to feel sorry for yourself. And you know, that's generally what a pity party feels like. The problem is when we're in a pity party, we're not looking at the positives. We're not looking at the things that are going right around us. And we're not taking advantage of the opportunities that are right in front of us. We always want to take advantage of those opportunities that are right in front of us. And spirit just places right there. So the important thing here is if you feel that energy coming in because you do have free will just because I see something in a reading doesn't mean that it has to be so if you feel this energy coming in of oh I'm gonna have a pity party I'm gonna throw myself a big fit right now <laughs> don't <coughs> excuse me don't let it happen sorry excuse me what you want to do is just keep your eyes open for the positive. Keep your eyes open for the opportunities. Don't let the negative stuff hold you back. Okay, so that's Friday. Excuse me while I get a drink here. For those of you who are wondering, no, that's not beer. That's watered down apple juice. Yes, straight up apple juice is too strong for me. <laughs> Okay, so Saturday, you guys have the Wheel of Fortune coming up in Reverse Cancer, and the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse is just telling me, um, as I'm looking at this card, I feel like a few of you are going to be, a few of you are going to be feeling kind of sick, like stomach flu type sick. It doesn't feel like anything long term. It doesn't feel like anything terrible. It feels like very temporary. It feels like very uncomfortable feels like don't want to leave the vicinity of the bathroom type sick. 
Um, and it feels like it's just like a four hour thing. It doesn't even feel like it's 24 hours. I think it's going to hit fast and then move on just as fast. But I don't think that's what's happening with all of you. With others of you, you just have some kind of freak of nature, bad luck. And once again, I don't feel like it's serious. I don't feel like it's life threatening. I don't feel like anything like that. I just feel like it's going to be um, unfortunate. It's, I mean, to me, the type of the, the caliber of bad luck that I'm talking about is like, say that you've had tickets to this concert you've been just dying to go to for like six months. And then let's say that um, the concert's at an outdoor venue and it just gets totally rained out. Like there is just no way that this concert can be performed. That type of caliber of bad luck, not like, um, not like losing health bad luck or anything like that. Just something that's unfortunate. Mildly unfortunate. Okay, so Sunday. You guys have the Ten of Swords. Now the Ten of Swords, Tens are an ending and a beginning. So this is an end of something and it's the beginning of something. It's the end of what I'm hearing to describe this is a debate. So there's been some kind of debate between you and somebody in your life that's been going on long term. For some of you, this is actually a debate that's been going on for years is what I'm hearing. The debate is coming to an end. Factual evidence is floating to the surface. Literally, those are the words I'm hearing, floating to the surface. Okay, so when this factual evidence floats to the surface, that's pretty much the end of this debate. Um, and I feel like it's a relief to have the end of this debate come up, the end of this conflict come up. And of course, new beginning too, Ten of Swords, you know, the Ten is the end, one and zero, add that together, that's one. So in numerology, that's also the beginning. So when you've got an end of conflict, to me, what I'm, real, what I'm reading here is this is the beginning of peace. This is the beginning of peace for you in this area of your life. Wherever this conflict was, I feel like there's peace coming in. And this feels heavy to me. For some of you, this feels really, really heavy. I would like to hear about that in the comments for those of you who um, watch this afterwards or you watch this and you know what it is that's coming up because... Um, Yeah, I really don't want to say exactly what I'm hearing, but I would like to hear how that pans out for some of you. And I know that what I'm getting is not going to happen for anywhere near all of you, but um, for some of you, it's a pretty big deal. All right, so anyway, that is your week, Cancer. I wish I had more good things that came up here, but um, the advantage of hearing the things that aren't so great is that you get a heads up so you can change that energy and make the week into something better for yourself. So good luck in doing that, guys. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic week, and I will see you all back here the next time. Peace out.